tell me out about this trade fair or what? Hmm. What do you want to know? Did you make any deals? Had some inquiries. We'll have to wait and see if they turn into orders, won't we? Oh, I'll tell you what I did have. I had a phone call from Dougie on my mobile. He wants to have a meeting, see if we still want kids in the pub. We don't. I'm sick of them. So, did you see anyone you knew there? Uh, yeah. But no one you'd know. Now, why does that not surprise me? <laughs> Do you think I was away on a dirty weekend with another woman? Is that what you think, eh? I just think it's peculiar, Mike. You hardly said a word last night. Normally, when you get back from somewhere, I can't shut you up. So I decided not to bore you. Come on, then. Let's go. I've got things to do. Come on. Oh, they're your shoes. I don't know where they are. You've hidden them, haven't you? Sure. Just wear your trainers instead. They're not uniform. Oh, and I'm supposed to care, am I? So what? I tell the head has got it all wrong. Before he smacks around the head of detention. Yeah. Look, if you're that bothered, go and look for them. Maybe that's what more are you doing. What are you going to want for your tea? Whatever anybody else wants. Long time since I've had a cuddy. Oh, and I wonder why that is. Are you volunteering to make one? I'm working. Yeah, well, so am I. Well, I don't believe that's what's wanted. Great. Are you sure? I was only meaning fish fingers or hamburgers. Now fancy. No, yeah, I'd enjoy it. I've done curry for ages. Mm, well then. <laughs> oh, you found them. Where did they come from? Sad. <laughs> well, that was as bad as it is, eh? The difference is, I intend to improve. Oh. <laughs> you don't get smart, you. No danger that round here. See you later. See you, love. I'd best get off, darling. See you. Later. Oh. Back to the grindstone. Right. Do you know I envy them people on that boat that were retired? Give over. You wouldn't want to be cruising for the rest of your life. Well, it's better than slaving. And don't say it's the same for you, cos it isn't. I was in the pub or the bookies. I don't know how you know when you're on holiday. Yeah, well, I do. You're on in a better mood. Flipping <laughs> neck, we must be stuck for work for fixing push bikes. No, it's my own. Well, that's even worse, fixing the zone. And anyway, Sam, you work in a garage. Well, yeah, I know. Well, why don't you get yourself a nice little motor up? Oh, what is this part of your fitness regime? <laughs> part of me having no money, more like. Mm. You're right, though. I could do without this carry on. Well, ask Kevin for the days. Yeah, right. Y you know, actually, I've been thinking, I was thinking about taking up stripping again. You know, see if I could raise some money that way. Well, good luck. <laughs> Cheers. I'm just sorry you didn't care to tell me. For one thing, I wouldn't have told Mike Baldwin that Susan lived in Glasgow. Well, we just thought the fewer people who knew, the better. And as it turned out, there weren't few enough. And now Baldwin's gone tearing up to Scotland and done God only knows what damage. Ken, I'm sorry. I don't know what else I can say. And when I see Dev, I should tell him what I think of him. Yeah, and I might just do the same. Do you think that's going to help? I don't know what's going to help. I just wish. Anyway, who can blame her? Who can blame her if she never speaks to me again? Well, I think she might deserve some of the blame herself, don't you? I mean, after all, she kept Adam's existence a secret all these years. For good reason. Yeah, well, you say that because of the way you feel about Mike. Other people might see it differently. Like you, for instance. You think it's a good thing it is found out? I'm not saying... So maybe when you told Dev you were hoping he'd pass it on, is that it? Oh, thank you. Well, that's what it sounds like. Well... I'm glad I didn't know. At least nobody can blame me. No, just me. You've no need to worry, Mother. This time it's me to blame for everything. There you go, love. Two coffees. Cheers. Thanks, love. Go over here, then, shall we? Yeah, go on, then. You know that trade fair I told you Mike was supposed to have gone to? Yeah. Well, normally I'd expect him to come back with his car full of brochures and samples, the usual rubbish they pile on you. Got in it this morning, not a thing. Well, I mean, he thought it was a load of rubbish and all and got rid. I don't think he went to a trade fair. And don't ask me where he went instead, cos I don't know. I invited Fred to join us, but he reckoned he had an appointment at the abattoir. Well, I think two out of three makes a quorum. Yeah, that means we get things done a bit quicker. Yeah. All right, if I join you. Yeah, sure, sit down. All right, then. Item one. Do we keep letting kids in? Cos my view is that we were right to try it, but it hasn't been a total success. They're a flaming nuisance. What, kids? 
Do you reckon all kids are a nuisance? They are when they're in here. Oh, in here. Yeah, okay. Well, there have been complaints. Hundreds of them. And although soft drink sales have gone up, beer sales have gone down. Well, they will do. Because the serious drinker don't like it. He's stopping away. You are absolutely right. So, I move that we end the experiment and go back to the way things were. Ban him. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. You can't vote. I just have. Motion carried. Unanimous. Trouble is, me ma'am. What about you? Well, she never liked me stripping. Made me promise I'd give it up. Yeah. Eight sixty, please. Oh, uh, right. Uh, there you go. Jeez. Said I was degrading myself, and if it didn't stop, she'd disown me. Hey, well, you don't want that if it can be avoided. There you go. Thank you. Thanks. Come on. Thanks. Well, hello. I don't know whether you know just how much damage you've caused. Sorry, what are we, uh... Um... By talking to Baldwin. Oh, that. OK, Deirdre should never have told you, and you can say that it's her fault if you like, but I don't think that excuses you blithely passing it on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, what is this? I mean, you've come here to lecture me on my behaviour. Well, what are you saying? That it's all right to pass on something told you in confidence? Well, if it saves a man from going through life not knowing that he has a son, I think it might be, yeah. Well, it's not as simple as that. I mean, your family, I mean, you've got a very strange way of carrying on if you can decide uh, what people should and shouldn't know. Well, you can think what you like. Yeah, and I say what I like. Well, evidently. Look, all I want to say is, OK, the damage is done. Well, in your eyes, yeah. But can you please... And I'm not saying this for my benefit, it's for Adam, my grandson. Yeah, Mike's son, Can you yes. please not go broadcasting it to anybody else? Well, um, whatever I might do, I will do because my conscience tells me it's the right thing, not because of anything I've heard from you. Well, I didn't flatter myself that you would. <laughs> Though I will say this, if I'd done what your family has, I wouldn't want anyone knowing either. Would you like to do something this afternoon, or do you have to go back to the shop? Yes, I would, and no, I don't, in that order. Oh. I think you'll have 2.30 change. Thanks very I'll much. I'll bring so. food over if you want. Yeah. Okay. Shall we sit over there? Yes, why not? There you go. What do you think of that? I'm just going to stick it on the door. Just the job. Can you do one for wives and all? Keep the women out, eh? <laughs> you are going to get me into serious trouble. <laughs> Hello. Mm. Here's Amanda. Mm. I thought I might find you here. Yeah. Hello. You. Hello. I've been talking to the home. Well, there's nothing wrong, is there? Well, that depends on your point of view. Apparently, Mum's not very well. Oh, yeah. She had a bad night. They're going to get the doctor to come and see her when he comes in, but I thought you might like to know. I mean, do you think I ought to go? Dad, that's up to you. Um, well, uh... but They told me, and now I've told you. Look, why don't you sit down and have a drink? No, thank you. No, I've said what I've come to say. Oh, dear. Uh... Look, why don't you go and see her? I know it's what you want to do. Are you sure you don't mind? I'd mind a lot more if you didn't go and I thought it was because of me. You go. Well, I'll... Um... Let me know what happens. One on salad and one tuna mayonnaise. Right. It's time I were going to put my feet up. Are you sure you should be back at work, Vera? Oh, yeah. It's not wrong with me. Well, no more than normal. And listen, we didn't win that much money, you know. I have to keep going for a bit, yeah. Oh. Hey, hello. Oh, Vera. Um, right, uh, any word from you know who? From? Social services. Oh, no, 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 nothing. Oh, of course. You're waiting for him to send you a kiddie, aren't you? Yeah. Here, what do you like about a girl? Oh, I don't mind. It'd just be nice to hear something soon. Oh, I think you will do. They're always looking for people, you know. <laughs> Won't surprise me if they don't turn up here this afternoon with a bus load. <laughs> well, I'm just one to start with, eh? Yeah. <laughs> See you then. Bye. Bye, Bye thank you, Vera. Right, are you sure that phone didn't ring and you weren't able to answer it because you were too busy? No. You would have answered it, I know. I'll get back to work then. Oh, yeah, well, bye. You can always ring me. Yeah, yes. Yeah. If anything happens. I will. Mm. Afternoon. Oh, you know, I was beginning to wonder whether you've been in. There you go. No. Um, I've already had Ken telling me how contemptible I am. For a while, I thought I had your whole family boycotting me. 
You must have known I didn't expect you to go and tell Mike. Oh, but did you? I wasn't planning on telling him. It just transpired as these things can, OK? And I'm sorry if I've caused any trouble. You can say that again. Yeah, but, but who does Ken think he is, hmm? Pontificating on who says what and who they say it to. Well, actually, I think he's got a point. <laughs> all right, I shouldn't have told you. But most of all, you shouldn't have told Mike. OK, it just seemed wrong not to tell him. Oh, well, thank you for the warning. It's just a pity it didn't come sooner, then I would have known not to trust you. I thought we were friends. Well, we are. That is not what I call being friends. Right, Deirdre, now, come on, you're just upset. Damn right I'm upset. I'm sorry, Dev, but you've let me down. We well, can just get someone else to do your donkey work, because I'm finished here. Oh, no, come on, no, Deirdre, no, come on! <sighs> Grateful I am. Hey, yeah, would you like to come in for a cup of tea? Oh, no, Tab, but I've got to get back to work. Oh, there he is. Look, he turns up now, now that I'm at the front door. While you've been supping ill, this young lad's carried all my bags from Crabtree Street. Good. I was even expect a tip. Well, he never carried bags for me, even when you were his age. But considered soft, you know, to see a young lad carrying a shopping bag. Vera, are we going to stand out here gassing all day, or are we going inside? You see, he hasn't even took the bags off you now, has it? Oh, give us a mail, or... No, hold on a minute. One of them's mine. Is it? Oh, yeah. I don't remember buying this. No, it's for my act. I'm starting stripping again. Oh, are you, love? Well, I bet you look lovely in this. Vera... The colour will go with the colour of your eyes. Vera, give him the lad back, will you? Oh, of course you don't like out like this, do you? Makes me feel inadequate. No, cold. You make sure the eating's on, son. I'll see you later, then. All right, love. Here, yeah, take the bag. See right. you later. See you then. Here, yeah, and don't forget to let us know where you're performing. Right. Now, listen, you. Don't you be pulling a face. You should be thankful that I'm still taking an interest. It's a lot of folk my age. Well, they've forgotten what it's all about. Yeah, just keep hoping you will. Well, it weren't much of a job anyway. Even so, I'm sorry you had to give it up. Yeah, so am I. But the man did let you down. Like I let you down. Oh, now what? Hello. Hiya. Yeah. Hiya. Yeah, just got off the phone from Susan. And she said to say thanks for your messages, but she doesn't really want to speak to you right now. What she's going to do, she's going to come down on Friday. And then we can all sit down with a nice cup of tea and have a full and frank exchange of views, can't we? I think I've had about enough of that, thank you. Deirdre's just walked out on her job. Really? Well, I thought you and that shopkeeper were best of pals. You told each other everything. Oh, please. Yes, I think we've probably all said enough on that subject. Said enough on every subject, if you ask me. Did Susan tell you what Baldwin said? Well, yeah, it's what you'd expect. He's determined to let Adam know he's got a daddy after all. So Adam still doesn't know? Apparently not. Oh, maybe there's still time then. I mean, there's nothing wrong with her. <sighs> I mean, that's a stupid thing to say. Of, of course there's something wrong with her. But nothing... Nothing that we didn't already know about. Or any more reason for her to see the doctor than she normally has. Which means that Amanda is just... I mean, it's an awful thing to say about one's own daughter, but she just lied to me. Well, maybe she got the wrong end of the stick. Yeah, maybe. I spoke to the matron. Yeah. I said that my daughter had the impression that there was some sort of crisis. Yeah. She didn't even know what I was talking about. Okay. I mean, of course, I was, I was very relieved, but, I mean, what, what is Amanda playing at? Well, happen you'll have to ask her. Yes, well, I intend to. Can I use your phone? Yeah, help yourself. It's just there. I'll make the coffee. Uh, Papa Dom's. Oh, back shelf. Ah, oh, there you are. Mm, not much choice. Thought you'd be interested. Got in touch with Susan, my ex, went to see her, and you are right. I have a son. Oh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Too quick. 
Anyway, thanks for the tip-off. If there's anything I can do for you, just say the word. Well, we can defend my good name when everyone else is slagging me off, which is all I seem to have had today. Yeah? Uh, Mr. Kenneth Barlow. Oh, take no notice of him. He's a joke. Yeah, I've heard better. Yeah, me too, but anyway. You found me my son, and I am very, very grateful. Thanks. Oh, excuse me, love. Hey, you're not closed yet, are you? Uh, no, not, not, not yet, no. Oh, good, right. All right, let's see, what do I fancy? I, mean, I love Betty's hot pot, but not every day, eh? You didn't ring, so I assume... Uh, no, no, not heard anything, no. I'll have a Cornish pasty, chips and peas. Uh, we haven't got any chips left, I'm afraid. Oh, right, OK, well, hang on a minute. We could always ring him. Mr Hartnell. Or do you think we shouldn't? No, maybe we'll come over as being too pushy, eh? Well, I think we should leave it another day or two. I suppose we should. Have you still got lasagna? Yeah, we've got some of that, yes. All right, then, I'll have a lasagna and a pot of tea. Oh, and a change of policy at the Robers. We're not letting any more kids in. Um, I know you're not drinkers, but if you hear folk talking, you might want to put them straight. No more kids. I mean, <laughs> who wants them, eh? Just push the door open and come straight up. I'll go and sit in the bedroom, leave you to it. No, this is your home. I want you to hear what she has to say, which in this case I think is going to be quite a lot. Oh, oh hello again. I'm sorry if I'm interrupting, but I don't know what else to do when I have the phone put down on me. That was my fault. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes. Well, I'm sorry too, because what you accused me of? Lying about Mum being ill? Huh. Yes, I was lying. I was. And you know why? Because I just couldn't stand the thought of you spending all your time with... With me? It's a betrayal of your marriage, of Mum, and if there's anything I can do to stop it, I'll do it. Like playing the dirty tricks you did today. Dad, she's still your wife. Yes, I know that, and Rita knows that. The only one who doesn't know that is your mother. I mean, she doesn't know night from day. She doesn't know me from anyone passing. Don't you think that means she needs more care, not less? <laughs> Perhaps she needs more care than I can give. And don't you think your father might need a bit of extra care? Oh, please, I'm really not interested in your opinion. Dad, look, please, come home. No, I'm staying here, uh, if, if you don't mind. No, stay as long as you like. Oh, well, that's clear enough. I'm wasting my time, aren't I? No, of course not. Oh, don't worry. I'll still keep visiting Mum, and so will Greg. We won't desert her. Well, neither will I. Dad, you already have. <sighs> She's upset. Yes, I'll, I'll try and bear that in mind. You all right? Yeah. School OK? No. What time are we having tea? When do you want it? Uh, about an hour. Yeah, fine. Catch a bus. You can be back in half an hour. Yeah, good one. You should start writing them down and all. Should you be doing that? What? Drinking lager. Haven't your mother got a rule? So? Well, rules are meant to be kept, especially when they're made by your mum. She won't mind. Uh, she will mind. And anyway, I mind. You're putting me on the spot here. It's not to do with me. Yes, it is. You're asking me to turn a blind eye, and I don't think I can. Hey, so much smells good. <laughs> you are nice to come back to. Hey, you're only saying that because you're hungry. Yeah, well, it's better than not saying it at all. Mm. And how are you? Yeah, fine, just gonna go and get changed. Just a minute. Is this you? Uh, no, that's me, that. Well, you know how it is. One with a curry got of a lager. Right. So, how was your day? You never stopped. You think the old Weatherfield lost use of the legs? <laughs> right. If I come in, as long as you're not after a job, what do you want? Oh, I know you've been to see Susan. Yep. And I don't know what she said, but can I say something? It would have been nice if you'd have said something when you first found out, but go on. Well, we both have our own points of view. I'm Adam's grandfather, you're his father. But can we agree on one thing? That what matters most isn't what we want, it's Adam. I'm sure you'll agree with that. I want to hear what you're going to say. Go on. 
Well, it's just that the lad's grown up with his mother, not knowing about you, or me for that matter. Now, OK, we can't turn the clock back, but... I wouldn't think you'd want to. But can we not at least agree, you and me, to just leave well alone? Let Susan carry on bringing him up and we both stay out of it. So what you're saying is that... I'll have nothing more to do with him if you do the same. Look, he's happy. I mean, for his sake, please, can't we... Can't we just leave things as they are? <laughs> that was fantastic. Thank you. But oh, me. Oh, and uh, thank you for something else at all. What's that? You don't drink this stuff. Yours is in the fridge. This was Todd's, wasn't it? If you say so. I do. I know it can't be easy with us all squashed in this house, with them watching you every move, trying to work you out. I mean, there's not many who put up with it. No, well, I'm not here for them. I know, and that's why I'm saying thank you. And uh, it will get better, I promise. <laughs> So when you found out about Adam... Which was very recent. I'm not saying it wasn't. But you didn't come rushing here to tell me, did you? Oh, no, you did everything you could to keep me in the dark. I only found out because not everybody sees things the way you do. OK, I'm um, sorry about that, but that's the past. Yeah, past has taught me a lesson. Like, you only do things when you have to. I found out about Adam, so you come here all reasonable. Both of us leave him alone. But you already know him. You've had him visiting. Yes, but... Uh... Oh, you want me to leave him alone? Oh, no. No, Barlow. He is my son. Your family have lied and conspired to rob me of 12 years of knowing him. No! Oh, yes! And now you come here expecting me to lose even more years? Well, you're wasting your breath, Barlow. Father and son is what we're going to be. And no one in your rotten family can stop that. <laughs>